Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from the Boston Cooking School Cookbook of 1924, we're going to be making sandwiches of chicken halibut. Now you might be going, wait a sec, is it chicken or is it halibut? Uh, apparently chicken halibut was a term and might still be a term used to describe very small halibut, younger halibut. Uh, anyway, I, I'm not sure exactly why chicken was chosen, but that's just the terminology. Uh, of course, at my store, I did not see anything called chicken halibut. I just used halibut and cut it down to size. Um, it's a lot of work, so let's get cracking. So the recipe gives us an option of using fish force meat or chicken force meat, and I say, you know what? Let's do both. So we start things off by pounding fish to a paste in a mortar and pestle. Oh, but it gets better because now we have to run it through a food mill. Now we cook milk and breadcrumbs to a paste. Now we add a well-beaten egg and our fish paste. Season with salt. It does not say how much. It also doesn't say how long to cook it. Okay, with our freshly washed mocajete, we begin making the chicken force meat the same way. And just like with fish, we need to run the chicken through a food mill. And just like the fish force meat, we start off the chicken force meat by uh, cooking together milk and dry breadcrumbs. And this is where it starts to get different. Now we're to add butter an egg white that was beaten to stiff peaks, a few grains of cayenne pepper, light grating of nutmeg, and our chicken paste. And get that all mixed together. Okay, now we dip our halibut fillets in butter that's been seasoned with salt and pepper. And on one we put our fish force meat, and the other our chicken force meat. Dip some more halibut into butter. Pour in a quarter cup of white wine. And bake in a hot oven, which means 400 to 450 for 20 minutes. Well, it's a good thing the fish has to cook that long because we need to make a hollandaise sauce how it's written in the book. Start off with a lump of butter and a double boiler, egg yolk, lemon juice. We whisk this together until it uh, gets melted. Now we're to add a second piece of butter and our last piece of butter. Now we add in one sixth of a cup of boiling water. Now off the heat we add salt and cayenne pepper. Now we uh, pour our hollandaise sauce over our fish and sprinkle with parsley. Yeah, it's just like how in Buzz Lightyear the meat was the bread. The fish is the bread. The filling is the force meat. Okay, let's give this chicken halibut sandwich with the uh, fish force meat a go. It's fish with a filling inside and a hollandaise sauce that's at best weak. Ugh. It's not bad, it's just disappointing. Okay, let's give this sandwich of chicken halibut with the uh, chicken force meat filling a go. Again, not a lot of seasoning in this dish. The chicken is a different texture, so that's something, but um, yeah, I want to plus these up. First thing I did is put it on some bread, and this isn't just any bread, it's Herb Slab from Acme Baking Company here in the Bay Area. It's uh, got a little bit of a crust, nice soft chew to it, and a good rosemary flavor. For the chicken halibut sandwich with the uh, fish force meat, I'm going to add some J.O.'s seasoning blend. It's like a more intense Old Bay. For the chicken force meat one, I'm going to add some all-purpose seasoning blend. I'm also going to add a little bit of mayonnaise. Okay, let's give this sandwich of chicken halibut stuffed with the uh, fish force meat topped with J.O. spice, a little bit of mayonnaise, and put into this herb slab. A go. Now you've got all the flavor of that J.O. spice. It's really a, like a more intense Old Bay seasoning. A little bit of richness from the mayonnaise. It's making up for that weak, weak hollandaise sauce. And of course the herb slab is going well with everything. Okay, let's give this sandwich of chicken halibut made with the chicken force meat, uh, plus up with a little rosemary uh, herb slab bread, mayonnaise, and all-purpose seasoning. A go. The all-purpose seasoning goes really well with chicken, and actually it was pretty good with fish. So this is good. I don't think it's as good as the one that was plussed up with the J.O. spice, though. Okay, so let's get a couple things out of the way. Uh, I read the recipe and I thought this would be an interesting sandwich. Uh, I bought all the ingredients and then realized, never mentioned bread. That's on me. Um, it was an expensive sandwich. Halibut is not a cheap fish, so um, that's another ding against it. But it wasn't bad. The hollandaise was weak and watery, and I don't know why they had us put water in at the end, because it was nice and thick to begin with. Um, yeah, I would say that the original uh, sandwiches of chicken halibut, the one with the force meat of fish, four and a half. The one with the force meat of chicken, four and a half. Um, plus up with the Acme herb slab and the J.O. spice and the mayonnaise. I think that version with the fish force meat Probably got up to like a seven and a half. That is quite tasty. Um, the version that was made with the chicken force meat, plus up with the all-purpose seasoning, herb slab, and mayonnaise, 
that's probably a six. I'm definitely going to finish all of this because I paid way too much, but yeah, never making this again, ever in my life, ever. <laughs> all right, see you tomorrow.